Squires picking up that dough to send the doctor to New York in the deal that made the Nets the ABA champions. Carter, as you saw, made them both. Even at a dozen, Marvin in traffic missing, and Owens with the rebound. The former spirit with the outlet to Chuck Williams, and Williams in a hurry to the front court. Cross-court pass to Carter. Steve Jones picking him up. Outside it goes to Finch, and then back to Williams, working the ball, looking for the open shot. 30-second clock reads 15. This is Owens along the baseline, double team. Pass swatted away, but Williams picks it up. His jumper short. Carter with the rebound as it bounces out to him, and Carter hits. George Carter makes it 14-12 in favor of Memphis. They lead by two. Freddie Lewis bringing it across. Top of the key, right side, Steve Jones. The jumper, bang, and we're even up at 14. Steve Jones suffered through a shooting slump about a quarter of, of the way through this season, but has worked his way out of it and come on tough recently. This is Williams along the right sideline. Kennedy trying to help Lewis out on defense. Stu Johnson shakes free for the pass. Back to Williams, but Freddie knocked it away and made the steal. Now he's on the front end of the break. Behind the back to Marvin. Pretty play. Two for Marvin Barnes and a great assist for Freddie Lewis. 16-14 St. Louis and knocking the ball out of bounds is Terry Driscoll as he cuts in front of George Carter. With so many rookies playing so much for the Spirits, Harry, it's so important to have a veteran like Freddie in there. Freddie's been the settling influence on in our ball club, and of course his scoring doesn't hurt too much either. Carter, the three-point try that won't go down, and Goo Kennedy with the rebound. Spirits with a chance to add to a two-point lead as Driscoll jumps and misses. Rebound, Goo in the lane. Goes up with it. He's got it again. A tough man on the offensive board. That's his fourth basket of the night, I believe, Bob. It is. 18-14, Spirits 5-4, their biggest lead. Along the right baseline, Tom Owens passes out of traffic to Carter, and there's a foul on that play. Joe Belmont making the call against Marvin Barnes on the pass by Owens. I believe that's team foul number four on the Spirits. Yes, it is. Second on Marvin. But the Spirits are going to call a timeout before Memphis puts the ball back in play. 2.52 to go in the first quarter. Spirits 18, Memphis 14. This is Spirits basketball. He does. You want them both? Want us both to wear them? Okay. Loop that around your right ear. Let's take a look at some of those first quarter statistics as we have them so far. The Spirits have shot 50% from the floor on 9 of 18, and Goo Kennedy is 4 of 5 with 5 rebounds. As for Memphis, only 6 of 19 from the field. That's only 32%. Rebounds and turnovers even up. 11 boards for each team, and they've both thrown it away three times. The foul against Marvin Barnes was the last play before the timeout, so Memphis will have the ball on the side. Two minutes and 52 seconds to play, and this is the first quarter. And the Spirits looking for their first road win in almost two months. They haven't won since late November when they beat San Diego in San Diego. Out in front, 18-14 here. Williams, top of the key. Pick by Carter doesn't work, but Williams takes it all the way before feeding off to Finch. Finch now holding it high against Lewis and giving to Stu Johnson, and Johnson hits finally from the outside. And that could be the first of many. You've got to marvel at the outside shooting touch of Stu Johnson. Almost throwing the ball away, but Marvin saves it. Out to Driscoll. Terry the jumper. In and out. No luck on the shot. Rebound. Kicking out to Stu Johnson. Gives it to Finch, and then up to Chuck Williams. Williams top of the key. Out to Stu Johnson. Three-pointer Stu. No good. Too long. Rebound comes out to Steve Jones. Chuck Williams just looked at the rebound and let Steve have it. Right side, Marvin, along the baseline. Spirits by two, in the lane. Shot blocked away from Kennedy that time by Owens. Go looking for points nine and ten, but Owens took him away. Johnson back with the jumper, and Stu Johnson ties the game at 18. We've got exactly two minutes to play in the first quarter. Neither team has gone with a lineup change yet. 
You see Freddie Lewis holding up five fingers, indicating a set play. Owens goes for the steal, doesn't get it. This is Steve Jones. Into Goo Kennedy, the follow in, not for Goo this time. And the ball knocked out of bounds, apparently by Terry Driscoll, as he battles Larry Finch for the rebound. And now Memphis will have a chance to go in front again. We're tied at 18, a minute 40 to play in the first quarter. Williams, guarded by Steve Jones, loses him at the foul line momentarily, but the jumper is too long. And Marvin has the rebound on a hop. He gives to Freddie. Looking to set up. Freddie stops and pops, blocked away by Finch, but a foul on Larry Finch. And Freddie Lewis is going to go to the free throw line here. Freddie Lewis, a member of the Eastern team's starting five for the All-Star game, which will be played on Tuesday, January 28th in San Antonio. Marvin Barnes will join him. Two out of the five Eastern starters, representatives of the Spirits of St. Louis, and Freddie misses the first one. Freddie is fourth in the ABA in free throw shooting this year, and he missed them both. I guess I put the jinx on him. Rebound knocked out of bounds, and I think the Spirits are going to retain possession. Yes, they will. Getting a break, Memphis last to touch it. So although Lewis is blanked at the stripe, the Spirits will have a chance to get the basket back. Tied at 18, 125 to play. Driscoll into Marvin, bobbles it, then puts it up and in. And Marvin Barnes puts the Spirits in front by two at 20 to 18. Six for Marvin on the night. Moving it across Larry Finch. In the lane to Owens, Driscoll knocked it away, and Terry on the foul. That should be number five on the Spirits, over the limit now, with a minute 12 to play in the period. And Owens at the free throw line. Goo Kennedy argues the Spirits' case with Bob Serafin, but to no avail. And Owens goes to the line. Had to be one of the all-time great trades to bring Freddie Lewis here in exchange for T.O., Harry. Well, we're happy for the trade. Time has played quite well for Memphis, but any time you can trade a backup center for an all-star guard, I think you want to make the trade. Owens making one of two and cutting the spirit lead to one at 2019. Friday night at the arena, San Antonio Spurs with two all-stars of their own. And it's bargain night. You buy one, you get one free. And Goo Kennedy is going to get one free here after hitting the field goal. Going to the line looking for the three-point play. And he's in double figures already in this first period with 10. Looking for 11. Spirits in front, 22-19. When we're moving the ball quickly, Bob, we're uh, freeing somebody underneath, either Goo or Marvin. And uh, collectively, they've scored virtually all of their points within five feet of the basket. So far, the lineup change is instituted for this one by Bob McKinnon, paying some handsome dividends. Three-point play for Goo as he makes the free throw. 23-19, Spirits by four. They led by that many once before. Memphis has never led by more than two. Finch gives to Owens. Stu Johnson behind the Owens pick. Picked up by Driscoll at the foul line. Giving it to Chuck Williams. 14 on the shot clock. Out to Stu Johnson. Long bomb. No for Stu Johnson. Finch knocked the rebound away, and they're going to say keep it down here, and I don't know how. Finch knocked the ball out of bounds. He was obviously last to touch it, but Bob Serafin did not see it that way, and Carter will make the inbound play. Barnes with the hands up. Out to Finch. Top of the key to jump. Too long. Rebound fought for, and now we're going to get a rebounding foul on Stu Johnson. And Johnson isn't too happy with that call. 38 seconds to play in the first period. 23-19. Spirits by four. Lewis and Jones bringing it up. Ready to the front court now yelling out a set play. Spirits can just about hold for one. There's a little bit more time left in the quarter than on the shot clock. 25 in the quarter and about 17 on the shot clock. Lewis given to Goo Kennedy. Stu Johnson picking him up. Driscoll top of the key and Owens on him tough. Terry putting it on the floor then kicking it, getting it back and giving to Freddie Lewis. Spirits having trouble. Only two seconds on the shot clock. Forced jumper by Freddie Lewis is good. We'll take it. Desperation. It wasn't planned that way, but it went down. Three seconds. Two. Carter's pass stolen by Freddie Lewis. There's the first quarter horn. So the Spirits, with the aid of the desperation jumper to beat the 30-second clock by Freddie Lewis, go out of this first period with the score St. Louis 25, Memphis 19. This is Spirits basketball. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, got it. Here's the here's the here's the problem. So. Outside the starting line, I'm 
one of the reserves for sure. I'm going to say, I just didn't start. That was between Johnson and Cutter on this team. As we get set to start the second quarter, let's clear something up here. Friday night, as we mentioned, at the arena with San Antonio, bargain night. Not one of the Spirits' family nights. There'll be more family nights.